Saw a lot of sunshine during the day today and only a few isolated showers. So a mostly dry afternoon and plenty of sunshine sent temperatures into the 90s. We're not at record levels, but certainly running above the normal high of 90 degrees for early September. What little rain we did have on radar has since come to an end, but the models indicating maybe a little bit more activity during the day tomorrow. As it does appear from the north, we're going to see this instability move in. You couple that with daytime heating and as we get into the midday early afternoon hours, we start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms fire up. A few downpours are possible and the model, at least this high resolution one, is pretty aggressive with just how much rainfall we'll see. We'll keep us at about 40, maybe 50% during the day tomorrow. So it appears as though we may have a wetter afternoon and evening and then another decent rain chance coming into Friday, early Saturday as a cold front moves into the area. It's still early September, no cool air, but at least some less humid air. You can kind of see that instability showing up on water vapor and we look at the computer model, those little features are going to be moving south. So certainly a better opportunity for some rain as the upper high, while somewhat in control of our weather, allowing those temperatures to get into the more mid, maybe some upper 90s is more anchored to our west. So we're still able to get some little disturbances to rotate around that upper high. Also out to our east, we're going to be watching an upper disturbance and upper troughing, which will be what pushes the cold front on through late Friday and into Saturday and bringing in some drier good feel air for the weekend and even continuing into next week. And I like this trend of continued upper troughing because one, it will keep eventually what would be a major Hurricane Lee away from the East Coast. And two, there are some indications this is going into next Wednesday, September 13th, maybe beyond maybe in the next 10 days, perhaps a real cold front moving through. That is beyond the forecast uh, accuracy, but models have been indicating a more cooler air mass or milder air mass, we'll call it, on the way. But that's not for another 10 days. We'll keep an eye on it. The front that we'll be seeing move through for this weekend is not going to bring any cooler air. Better chance for some scattered showers and then drier, less humid air will be moving in. And it looks like that may hang around for not only the weekend, but maybe Monday and into Tuesday as the models are keeping that dry air in place to start next week, which would be great news. Early in the season, it's kind of baby steps to start transitioning to fall, and these fronts bringing in drier air are the start of that transition. At the moment, though, a lot of sunshine. We're at 94 degrees right now, way too hot for this time of year. Average high is 90, record is 98. We're right in between that. Our morning low is actually normal for this time of year, and we're still in the low mid-90s outside at the moment, as we did not see much in the way of any cloud cover. Obviously, our focus is going to be on Hurricane Lee. Two other areas that do not look like they're going to threaten land land at all will also be monitored and could become next name storm. It, really the wave that is uh, east of Lee, but Hurricane Lee with winds of 75 miles an hour. There's actually fairly weak wind shear over the storm at the moment, and that will start to subside. So there is really nothing that is going to hinder further explosion in strength in the coming days. Now, as we get toward days four and five into the weekend and early next week, it does look like the storm starts to slow down a bit. That is because the steering current start kind of changing over. You're actually going to have an upper high that starts building into the west. That may help to slow the storm down a bit. As we head toward early to mid next week, the upper high is gone, and that's when we start to see that upper troughing. That would be what allows the storm to turn away from the east coast. This is just one run of the GFS, and notice the model kind of splits the difference between the east coast and Bermuda. That would be a best case scenario, but a lot of the model members, the ensemble members, have it over either just west of Bermuda or over Bermuda. If I'm in Bermuda, you're paying very close attention to this one. Watching it if you're on the East Coast, but the consistency in the models continues. High temperatures over the next couple of days, more mid upper 90 range with a better chance of rain. Bit less humid, but still hot as we head into the weekend and not much rain as we continue into early next week.